they are present in large numbers in the part retina, which is just opposite to pupil. This small area of retina is called fovea or yellow spot. It is the point where visual activity is greatest. Light traveling from an object passes through the cornea and pupil and is focused by the lens onto retina where an image of the object is formed. Image formed on the retina will be smaller than the object. Moreover, the object is upside down. Optic nerve carries the messages from eye to brain. There are no rods and cones at the point where retina is connected to optic nerve. This area of the retina is called blind spot. No image is formed in this area of retina. Half of the optic nerve of one side crosses to the other side and other half travels on the same side. Thus, each eye sends its message to both sides of the brain. Brain has a region where messages from eye are received and analyzed. Upside down image formed on the retina will be converted to upright position. Size of the image will be restored to normal size and it is converted to a 3D image. Vision becomes defective when the lens cannot adjust with the distance of the object. When the muscles controlling the crystalline lens become tired or fail to function properly, vision will be defective. The image does not fall precisely on the retina as the lens cannot adjust the focus properly. When the image falls in front of the retina, the defect is called myopia or short-sightedness. When age is advancing, the lens cannot adjust and focuses the image behind the retina. And this is called long-sightedness. These defects can be corrected by using contact lenses or spectacles. Mechanism of vision The light rays in visible wavelength focused on the retina through cornea and lens generate potential in rods and cones. The photopigments in the human eye is composed of opsin, a protein, and retinal, an aldehyde of vitamin A. Light induces dissociation of the retinal from opsin, resulting in changes in the structure of the opsin. This causes membrane permeability changes. As a result, potential differences are generated in the photoreceptor cells. This produces a signal that generates action potentials in the ganglion cells through the bipolar cells. These action potentials are transmitted by the optic nerves to the visual cortex area of the brain, where the neural impulses are analyzed and the image formed on the retina is recognized based on earlier memory and experience.